Amy Herzog here with a quick tutorial on how to use custom fit to create a custom sweater pattern. This tutorial will assume that you've already saved some measurements and some gauge into your custom fit account. It's free to do so, it's easy to do so, and I have other tutorials that will step you through it. This time I just want to focus on the basic steps of creating a pattern. Any pattern you like. I'll start with Mine Hill, one of my favorite cardigan designs and one that I want to make for myself with long sleeves. So let's step through how to create that pattern. The first thing you'll notice is on the pattern page, you'll get a little bit of detail about the sweater, pictures of what it looks like, and then three sets of information on the yarn that I used to make the sweater, the design choices that are inherent in the sweater, sort of what, it, what you'll get if you make this pattern out of the box, and then a little bit of information on the stitch patterning used. All of those are links that go to instructions and charts in case you'd like to see how your yarn looks in the stitch pattern before you make the sweater. The basic steps of creating the pattern are just a few. You need to name your pattern. So I'll name this Mine Hill Cardigan for Amy because I'll make myself one. I'll select my body measurements from the drop down menu and the gauge of the yarn that I would like to use to make my mine hill. I'll use the yarn that I used to create the original Spirit Trail Birta and the fit that I'd like that garment to have, close, average, relaxed, or oversized. I think I'd like something a little bit larger than what I am wearing in this picture, so I'll select a relaxed fit. This page also lets me change the sleeve length and the length of the sweater if I want to. I like the length of the original sample. I'll keep it at a long sweater length, but I think in this case I'd like to change those elbow sleeves to full length. That's really all there is to it in terms of the basic steps of creating a pattern. I could click the get this pattern button and go straight to the screen where you can pay, but today I want to show you a little bit about how you can adjust the measurements of the pattern if you want to. So instead of clicking get this pattern right away, I'll click customize fit specifics. This page will show you a detailed summary of your body measurements and what custom fit is suggesting for the garment measurements. So you can just look at the fit recommendations, decide they work for you, and then proceed with no changes, or you can use this page to change the target dimensions of any of the sweater pieces if you like. So if, for example, I feel like I might want a sleeve that's a little longer than the 18 inches I put in my measurement set, but I'm not sure, I could change that here at the sleeve to armhole level. You can see I've just changed that from 18 inches to 18 and a half inches. And then you can either back out of your changes or you can proceed with the changes you've made. Let's see how I'll like a, a new sleeve length. Then you'll go straight to the summary page where you can again look at the finished dimensions of the pattern that you are going to purchase before you buy. And then this is where you'll see um, payment options that are specific to the kind of account you have. So since I made custom fit, my patterns are all free. They'll also be free at this point if you are a Maker Plus sub subscriber. If you're a maker, you can choose to use a credit to create a pattern at this point, or if you have just a basic account, you'll see a PayPal button here. Any way you do it, clicking get this pattern will get your pattern. And there it is, it's already created. So this pattern was made for my measurements and my gauge, and you can see it looks pretty much like any other pattern. Has instructions for the sweater back, the sweater fronts, since this is a cardigan, and then the sleeves, and which are long, like I asked them to be. You can see this 18 and a half inches is the same as what I requested before. And since this cardigan has pockets, you'll get the information for all of that too. You don't have to read your patterns on a web page. You can now download a PDF of that pattern that you've just created as many times as you like and it looks pretty much like any other pattern. So you've got a little bit of um, information and pictures up front, and then the same instructions that you just saw on the web page. That's creating a pattern with custom fit. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm Amy Herzog.